Welcome back to Forrester's Creative Spooky Edition of our interview. Ow! <laughs> Today Sorry. we have Jessica Locklar with us, local painter and all around cool person. Yeah. Today we will be making spooky Halloween luminaries like you see on Pinterest all the time. Spooky. So Jessica, why don't you tell us a little bit about your art style and what drew you to, to this style of painting? Um, well, I've always been drawn to uh, figurative work, mm -hmm. um, mainly Art Nouveau, um, stuff like that, especially when I was younger. I thought it was always really beautiful. And um, anyway, I, I started painting when I was about 12 on my own, and, uh, and here I am now. <laughs> <laughs> An MFA graduate from Savannah College of Art and Design. And I also teach. Um, I do private lessons. I'll do workshops, all kinds of stuff. So okay. I like to. I like to teach. I like to share. Awesome. Share the. Share the. You know, pass the wealth. So of knowledge. What uh, What inspires you as an artist? Like, what other artists? Um, you know, are there local you know events or news or what? What is your inspiration for your um, work? A lot of my work stems from uh, like a biographical nature and also um, like a, a, a sadness really. I really relate to um, Edvard Munch. Um, you'll know his painting Scream. Oh, um, okay. He did a lot of figurative work but it was all, I don't know, my work might not resemble his in style but I feel like it has a similar like a feel. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, a lot of, you know, figurative artists. Um, yeah. So that's what I'm into. Okay. <laughs> so what is your, from these paintings, what is like most recent to oldest of these four that you brought to show us today? Okay. Um, so I painted this one last summer. I had pneumonia and I was like in a painting frenzy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, yeah, because I was in my convalescence, you know, trying to pass the time. I had to take like six weeks off work. So it started with this one and then I painted this one in like three wow. hours, which was insane. I don't know, the muse was really speaking in my <laughs> ear. And then um, this spring I painted this one and um, this is my most recent one. I'm, I'm prepping for um, Scat's Open Studio Night. Okay. Um, it's November 3rd, and we're going to be having um, current students and alumna. Sorry, alumni. I'm an alumna. Uh, what's, current what's students the, and alumni. I never heard. What's the difference between alumna and alumni? Alumni is a plural. Alum is um, a masculine singular. Oh. And alumna is the feminine. I did yeah. not know that. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. Pretty, uh, pretty cool. <laughs> pretty cool stuff. So yeah, that's um, that's what I'm focusing on. Trying because I have, uh, you know, I submitted a few pieces that that I've done in the show. I think it, it was six, but they might have narrowed it down. I'm not sure. And then um, they asked me to do some smaller work, so I'm trying to uh, make work under ten inches, oh. and also have to make it quickly. And right. so. For me, drawing is a lot faster, especially color pencil. You get, you know, a similar feel to, to the painting style right. I do. Right. Okay. So yeah, That's I'm just cool. like, you know, in a frenzy again. <laughs> That's where I do my be my best work. I think is when I'm um. When I'm under pressure. So how would you say your styles changed from when, you know, you graduated high school and went to college? Like, how did how did art school change the way you paint and, and the style you have? Did it become more uh, controversial or in well, what ways did you change? When I first started um, undergrad, I was, you know, making pretty general academic stuff, a lot of still life, so we had to do a lot of, you know. But I was, I was really drawn to the figurative work, but I never really made anything in my mind. Uh, too controversial but um i came to find out that a lot of people were kind of uncomfortable my by my work and i think it was more of a subconscious um 
way of expressing myself were some of my um, trauma from childhood. Mm -hmm. As a, you know, not only <laughs> a lot of people have that um, kind of was manifesting itself. And so school really helped me um, you know, come to terms with, with my past and um, grow and become a better painter and person, I think. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. <laughs> so what is, um, and not to, you know, get too deep into mm -hmm. um, anything you're uncomfortable with, but like kind of a lot of your work is provocative. Mm -hmm. So have you had experience with people misunderstanding or if you felt misrepresented at times? All of the time. Um, I feel like people either think it's um, super sexy mm -hmm. and that's really, especially, I don't want to, <laughs> I'm just saying, especially the male audience, they, they, they interpret it one way as opposed to the, to the female audience. And I don't know why that is. I think I'm not, I'm not entirely sure why that is. And I don't, <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble by speculating. So I don't know. Um, but they, uh, yeah, they generally see it as like, you know, oh, beautiful naked body or, you know, they, they mm -hmm. see the, the, the titillating aspect of the work, but they fail to usually delve deeper. Right. You know, not, not that everyone does that, but it's just, and it's a common misunderstanding. For those who haven't seen Jessica's work, these are the much more PC <laughs> ones that, uh, I had her bring in cause I don't want YouTube to have a little fit because of the whole, you know, you know boobs and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> boobs and stuff. Um, so what would you say, you know, moving to a more positive topic, what has been your most exciting moment as an artist? Um, well, one of the highlights, I don't know, I've had a lot of really like fortunate happenings, but one of, you know, some more exciting things, let's see. Um, when I was in graduate school, I, I went to Savannah College of Art and Design and they have um, a campus in uh, the south of France. Oh, it's cool. the most magical uh, place on the planet, I think. It's, I, I remember calling it, um ancient magic <laughs> there and like everyone made fun of me but it's true because it's like it's 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 something special That's nice. and um, another highlight at grad school when I was um, a senior our president was retiring and they um they hired me to do the presidential portrait wow which was really cool I did not know that about you that's really yeah. awesome yeah so that was that was a really big deal for me, it was my first like major commission, and you know that per particular um, Dr. David Potter, he was uh, very much involved with students, student life, and so they felt that it was important to have um, a student uh -huh. uh, be involved in um, in his history with the with the school. So that was pretty pretty uh, big honor. <laughs> wow, that's really yeah. cool. So. You know, speaking of commissions, what is, have you had some like, mm. I imagine you get some interesting commission requests. Oh yeah. The um. one, for instance, <laughs> this um, elderly gentleman wants me to, and I'm currently working on this, wants me to paint his um, wife as a uh, topless mermaid. Well, that's <laughs> swimming <different. laughs> in the, the yeah. Does she know about it? She reluctantly agreed, and <laughs> we met at um, um, the University of North Georgia. We met in their their library, <laughs> and she came in, and I was like, okay, so I'm just gonna take a few reference photos for this painting, and she was like, she was like this, she was like, <laughs> I was like, that's gonna be a great painting, I can't wait. Oh, no. <laughs> but um, you know, we get the best of it. <laughs> So, since it is Halloween, what has been, and this doesn't even have to be painting related, what has been your scariest or spookiest moment oh my ever? Goodness. Okay, this is like a really funny story that I'd love to tell my um, middle schoolers. I teach at Vining School of Art, and we have like camps all the time, and this, they want me to tell them scary stories, so this is real. Real story, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, there's two. Okay, I'll give you two choices. You can either hear the pickle jar story. Could you tell us both? Yes, I can. Tell us both. Let's <laughs> okay. tell us both. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> I'll tell you the, the funny one first. So um, 
my mom was married um, to this man and he had a t teenage daughter and she was babysitting me and um, we were gonna have hot dogs for dinner and I wanted pickles and so I asked her to open it and I was like nine at the time mm -hmm. and um, she's like sure sure so she tried to get it open tried to get it open wouldn't open so she grabs this like steak knife okay, and she's like oh, I got this so she's prying it and it slips and it cuts her wrist and there's like blood oh and I'm like, gosh. oh, you know, especially because I'm a kid. I'm like, oh my gosh, she's going to die. So I go and I try and get paper towels and I go to reach and there's only like one on the little roll thing. I'm like, great, awesome. So I like throw it at her and I go upstairs and I'm like, okay, okay, throw it at tissue her. paper. Yeah, I was <laughs> like, I'm going to get her some toilet paper. It'll be fine. So I run upstairs, grab, there's like one square on that too, right? Grab it. I'm running. I'm running. There's like this flight of stairs. I hit the first one. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu, my butt hits every step <laughs> <right> down. <laughs> I finally get there. I'm like, Ooh, I can't breathe. You know? Oh, no. I'm like, oh, I have to save my sister. So I run to the front door and I'm pulling and pulling, pulling. It's not opening. It was unlocked, but it was not opening. So I'm like, okay, great. Um, this is how we die. So I, <laughs> <laughs> I still can't breathe. I run to the back door, get it open, right? And just imagine me. Pudgy, okay, and um, in this like fancy frilly pink satin nightgown, okay. <laughs> so I like run to the back door, throw it open, run, 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 run to the back fence, and it like opens this much, and I'm oh, like, no. okay. So I have to like squeeze through like this, <laughs> and then I'm running, running, and run next door to our neighbors. I pound on the door. I realize they moved the week before, oh. but there happened to be someone in there. A man in their house cleaning the carpets oh. at like eight o'clock at night, but that I'm a sounds kid. like he was actually like doing drugs. <laughs> Probably, like, like, it sounds like uh, cleaning the carpet. <laughs> remember in uh, what do you call it? Breaking Bad when they they did the house. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like yes, like the exterminator. <laughs> oh my god, I never thought of that. <laughs> He's probably making myths. Yeah, great. <laughs> so, me and my pink frilly satin nightgown, I'm like, please help me. My sister, she's bleeding to death. <laughs> He's like, oh my God, let's go. We run next door. We go in. He gets a cold cloth. He puts it on. He takes it off. It's like the tiniest little Nick. She's totally fine. And I just went through all of that trying to save her life. So I that's... Bet she, she wasn't even grateful. She No. No. She, no I'm just kidding. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure she was. Maybe. I don't know. I don't really remember her. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> so... <laughs> no, it's me. What is your other scary tale? Okay. What had happened was... I um, think this starts Cut to... <laughs> I'm in high school now. Okay. Um, I'm on the phone. My parents are out. Because I don't need a babysitter now, right? Yeah, you're in high school. <laughs> Why would you need a babysitter? Right. And, like, my grandmother had passed away a couple years before. And I was still really upset about it, obviously, because... Grandma's rock. And um, so I was really sad, and I convinced my then boyfriend to buy a Ouija board. Okay. okay. And so I was trying, like, to get in touch with her because I just wanted to know if there's an afterlife, she's okay, you know, all that kind of stuff. So we get the Ouija board, and I try and talk to her, and it would only give me numbers. And it was oh. like 0942. Okay. And I'm like, that's helpful. So you know, like, thanks, like thanks. grandma. Thank you. <laughs> so whatever. I just so, wanted to talk to you, but you're <laughs> but that's being fine. all cryptic. You're playing whatever. bingo. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> so um. Anyway, so I'm like trying to talk to her, get these weird numbers. I'm like, great. This is such a waste of time. So anyway, I'm at home. I'm on the phone with my friend at the time, and um, I'm home alone. And this was back in the day when people had like house phones Whoa. what i know so like it's like a cordless house phone and obviously you can hear when someone else picks up the other line right right so i'm in the house on the phone and i hear on the phone and i'm like uh -oh. and my friend's like what and i'm like did you do that are you doing that and she's like doing what and then i hear beep boop beep beep but you're Someone's alone dialing yeah and i'm like Okay, this isn't funny. You can stop now. She's like, I don't stop what? I'm like, you don't hear that? She's like, I don't, I don't hear anything. She's like, are you okay? I'm like, I don't know. You're like, nope, <laughs> no, I am not. I don't know. I think I might be dying. 
So I call my then boyfriend and I'm like, Ian, I think someone's in the house. I keep hearing someone pick up the phone and I think they're trying to dial. But they're messing with me. I don't know what's happening. And he's like, yeah, I'm sure everything's fine. And then I hear on the phone again. Beep, 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 beep. I'm like, okay, well, just, you know, if I die, <laughs> just oh. know that I try to tell you. And he's like, I'm, I'm, this is how what are you talking about? I know, right? And I like, I'm really scared. So um, at this point, I'm like, okay, well, someone's in the house, and they're clearly trying to torture me before they murder me. So I'm like, I'm in the, I'm in the center. Clearly, that is like, the only answer. <laughs> I'm like panicking. I'm like, I have to go. I hang up the phone. I don't know why I didn't call the police, but I'm like, whatever. Yeah. I like walk, looking to the kitchen. I grab a shot, the biggest knife I can find in the butcher block. I'm like backing up against the hallway. I'm like, come out. <laughs> I will f you up. <laughs> they're like, if they're there, they're like, what is she doing? So I finally make it to my room. I'm like looking under the bed, looking in, um, you know, behind the shower curtain, expecting anything. Yeah, right? monsters. Right? <laughs> so I lock myself into my bathroom because there's no way to get at it. And I have my knife. I have the phone. I'm calling my mom. I'm like, mom, you have to come home. I think someone's in the house. I think they're going to murder me. She's like, what? <laughs> I'm like, come on, please. So she comes home and um, <laughs> everything's fine. And then I look at the phone, right? And when I was on the phone, you know, it had the time long. It was 0942, 9 o'clock, 42 minutes past 9 o'clock. Which was the same numbers that the Ouija board gave me, okay? Oh, so no. I feel like maybe she was trying to talk to me. But really bad at it. But I thought someone was going to murder me, so. Well, you know. But it's <laughs> a thought that counts, right? <laughs> sure. So that's my, that's my scariest story. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Well, did you like it? I did. I was, I was on the edge of my. Were you really? My imaginary seat. Your your legs. You were on the edge <laughs> of your legs. Um. So yeah. So you mentioned the whole scad show you have coming up. Yeah. That you're going to be in. Has there is there anything else on the horizon that you uh you're looking forward to? Well. Career-wise, right? <laughs> if you want to talk about other stuff, that's fine, too. Well, aside from my blooming career, <laughs> um, I am engaged to the love of my life. Well, that's exciting. exciting. Yeah. We're planning our wedding. We just set our... We just set our... Um, Date, <laughs> <laughs> you know. It's hard to remember words when words. the camera's on. You. <laughs> I'm very nervous. That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, um, just really excited about that, and um, you know, starting a our little our little family. Aww. And um, and also trying to you know get my job or get my job get my foot in the door at um some university maybe teaching some. Oh yeah, you know, cause I'm, <laughs> that's my dream, cause I love teaching, but I, you know, kids, I love kids, but they, they don't pay super well. <laughs> they teach kids. They're just. I mean, they should. They absolutely should pay more to teach children things, but they, uh, they tend to pay more when you teach adult things, which is odd to me because adults are mm. much more behaved. Um, mm -hmm. Kids, well, it's, like, it's hard. You know, it's hard. Usually. So, yeah. I've had a few that are a little not, not so well behaved, but <laughs> Yeah. That's why yeah, usually more well behaved. Yeah. <laughs> but you uh speaking of adults, you also teach I know this because I took your class, uh adults. I do teach adults. I yes. teach at the Vine School of Art. I do um, adult courses mm -hmm. at night, and we're starting some in the morning for those of you who can't escape your children at night. Okay. <laughs> I mean that in the nicest way. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, just look it up, Vining School of Art. Also, I do workshops here, um, boot camps, all kinds of fun stuff. Yeah. We've got to actually get some of those on the calendar because uh, we haven't in a while. Yeah. But, uh, well, you know, it's. I mean, I have like three jobs. And, yeah, we've been and you have remodeling like, <laughs> like a lot. 
Yeah, you have a whole store slash creative space to run, so. But yes, yeah. Jessica will be teaching some workshops here. So if you are in the West Georgia area and you don't want to drive all the way to Vinings, uh, keep your eye out for, for Jessica's classes here. I mean, if you want to be awesome. Okay. That's just my... Uh... <laughs> so um, what are you doing for Halloween this year? Well, we were planning on having our engagement party slash Halloween party. Oh, right. But um, we just moved and our house is I'm just, it's not ready. It's like a mountain of boxes. Yeah, I, I, uh, mm -mm. I did that two years ago, and it's uh, still not ready. <laughs> like, it's just not It's not just, like, ready. such a pain, right? Yeah, it is. It uh. is. No. This okay. is looking rough. <laughs> It'll look good when we have everything inside. Oh, I'm sure it will look great it's by the time you're gorgeous. done. It's <laughs> Watch it be hideous. This, um... <laughs> Ooh, All right, that's looking good. Since you are obviously great with color, how can I make a blood red? Because this is not... Um, it's a little too... It's a little pink. And uh, pink is not the scariest of colors. Right. Okay. So what do we do? So let's... And I have other paint colors I can get. Okay. If that would help. So I think this is a good start, but we're going to need some green and we're going to need to add some orange. Green and orange. Mm -hmm. I will get you some green. Okay, I'll get Let's started mixing for you. Thank you. Not a problem. And, this might and if you have any brown. Just, you know. I think we do. <laughs> I'm not sure. Green, real green. Some red. This is like a very bright red. Oh, I put some black in it, so I was trying to go in it. Oh, nice. Some orange. Indubitably. Okay. Okay. Oh, there's you. some greens thank and you. here's a brown. Ooh. Uh oh. Blue gun stripping. It's okay. All right. So we put green. Yeah, a little green. Why are we adding green? <laughs> Excellent yes. question. Yeah, tell us why are we adding green? When you have a bright color that is too freaking bright. Mm -hmm. We need to add the opposite color. So the opposite color to neutralize it. The opposite color of red is green. So see how it's making it deeper? Now this is still too light, right? Right, it's still kind of pink. So we're going to... Yeah, yeah oh. Black. And all of these paints we have that we're painting this glass with have Mod Podge mixed with them. So it will really glue to the glass. Because acrylic paint by itself isn't super... Oh, I did not know that. Yeah. Uh, it's great on canvas because canvas can absorb, but it won't chip as much if you add in... Uh, in this case, we did high gloss Mod Podge. Very cool. You can uh, use it as a duplicate for um, pouring medium. Really? And that's what we do a lot. Oh, I didn't know that. A lot of my students love to use the pouring medium. It's very fun. We actually teach a class here. Uh, Deb, my mom, does uh -huh. the... Uh, puddle pours so uh, do here. they like intermingle and look all like what do they look like uh i can show you some of the paintings yeah i want to see yeah no course. show them i mean i'll show them too but <laughs> i'll show you show in them. person <laughs> those guys <laughs> <laughs> all right so we're adding some more orange just you know you just have to play with it okay because yeah that's the I problem <laughs> a lot of stuff i do ends up like brown and shades mm. of brown and I think this is looking like a dry baby puke blood color. What do you think? Do you are you happy well, with this might... dry blood? <laughs> Actually, that's looking a lot closer to the blood color I was looking for. Right in here? Yeah. Okay. So let me see what that looks like in here. Okay. Yeah, that's looking is better. That better. Like the contrast with the black, it looks a lot more like mm. Like blood. <laughs> blood. So you were saying um, mm -hmm. you were going to do an engagement party for Halloween. We were, yes. But, but now, we are flaky. <laughs> are you going to go out? Are you going to do anything? Oh, fun? you know, I hear there's a lot of fun things to do in Atlanta. We haven't looked yet, but we have costumes. <laughs> oh, what are your costumes? What are you dressing as? I'm going to be a ghost bride because I'm getting married. Aw. <laughs> That's so original, right? 
<laughs> but um and sean's gonna be well see it's kind of, okay sean's gonna be um the sheriff from stranger things i could see that so, okay he looks just like him sean you want to show the people show the people your face <laughs> oh or not he's like nope <laughs> no i do not he's the man behind the curtain yes lurking in the shadows um cool yeah. This craft is taking a lot longer than I thought, and I'm kind of running out of interview questions. Oh, but um, that's fine. Is there any, if you had advice to give, like, aspiring artists, people just finishing art school, or even, you know, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, like, folk well, artists and stuff like that, like, people that are trying to get into the, to the point you're at right now in your career. As Which far is. as, like, selling and having <laughs> stuff in shows and things like that. Like, how do people get their artwork into, okay. into so shows? Okay, so the first and most important rule is be true to yourself. Okay. That is the most important thing I have learned. Don't make what you think other people will like. Don't make what you think will sell. If you're true to your vision and your voice, then your work is going to show that it's gonna be strong. So that's rule number one. <laughs> rule number two, get out there, go to shows. Don't be afraid to introduce yourself. Yeah, I have social anxiety, I get really nervous, but I fake it because I know that's important. You have to be able to talk to people, you know, even if maybe they're jerks or maybe they're really pompous, like a lot of people in the art world, you know, you just have to deal with it and play along and introduce yourself again. Talk to them, make friends with them, follow them on Instagram, and then um, post your work. I think that's important. So Have let's, a, let's um, uh -huh. actually kind of want to segue there into, um, how, have you, how has your experience been with social media? Because I, I know I have some struggles and mm -hmm. some other artists I've talked to are never quite sure like, what yeah. are we supposed to do? Well, you know... How has um, your experience been? I don't think you should go in expecting to have, like, 2,000 followers the first day. No. You know what I mean? Like, I've been on Instagram for a long time, like, since 2012, and I only have, like, 900 followers. So, a lot of other people have a lot more than that. And I think it's just, again, being true to yourself, posting your work trying to um also like rotate so one day you post on instagram the next day you post on your facebook page or twitter i don't use twitter i think it's stupid but some people like it um <laughs> seems like everyone i talk to is like yeah i don't do twitter it, it's but then like... i see all these people on twitter so i know some of you are out there on twitter <laughs> i mean there's clearly a lot of people on twitter <laughs> I mean, Everyone I talk really to is like, like I don't, I don't do that. You know, it's just, do I put my luminary in now? Uh, well, you want to. So here's the thing with the luminaries is you want to be able to turn them off. <gasps> it changes colors. Oh yeah, the the ones that I didn't mean to, but I accidentally got uh, votives that are color changing. Oh, look into the blue flame. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. So <laughs> what you could do, well, since they start on the bottom, you can't really glue it to the top. Um, I try. What I'm doing is making. A, a, a little pad for them mm -hmm. that I can pull out um, okay. when, I, when I'm ready. I can dig that. And Wow, this is tough stuff. Yeah, I'm going to put that in there. And so, because you, again, you want to be able to turn them off. If you can't turn mm -hmm. it off, then it's going to be, it's, okay. it's going to be a bad gonna... time. <laughs> I'm going to roll it into shape and stuff it on in there. Well, I mean, you got it. I mean, if you want to turn it on. Oh. oh, you've got that one. I'm just wrapping it and then <gasps> oh. setting oh it down God, in there. Oh, my God, it's glowing. Mm -hmm. And then wrap another one up, turn it on. The reason I did two is because these aren't super bright. I will take pictures of them and put them on the video. Completed. Mine looks so ugly. <laughs> That's okay. You could just glue bats on it. That is such a good idea. <laughs> put a bat on it. <laughs> like, importantly, idea. Yeah, put a bird on it. Okay, what? <laughs> so, yeah, see, and it's not even a perfect science, because, like, mine just fell out of its little, its little spider bundle. <sighs> Tricky little Because it sucks, because you can't glue them in. 
But you know these things have battery life, so eventually they will end <laughs> their life. They will fade away. Okay. So to the great beyond. Put that there. Look at this. You like it? Yeah. <laughs> I know you do. So I'm going to put some more of Ow. this in here just for filler. Oh, cute. And then put I'm going to put some bats on it. Yeah, glue a bat on it. Put a bat on it. I mean, that's the Halloween version of put a bird on it, right? <laughs> yes, my right. pretty. Yes. Ooh. I'll just cut that. And some spiders. Yes, you have to put spiders on. I mean, yes, you don't it's, have to. It's your it's life. It's necessary, actually. You don't, you don't have to do it, I say. No, you do. So I'm going to... I'm going to wrap it around. Oh, yeah. And then, yeah. Oh, well, uh -oh. there's more. There's more. Okay. So what about advice for young, like super young artists, like middle school, high school, people that are going through that phase in life where you just feel not super confident confident about, about everything? Don't listen to the haters. You know, a lot of people try and tell you you're not good enough or why are you wasting your time making art? Because your soul tells you to. Like, there's a reason. You know, it's all about, like, making money now. But, well, hasn't it always been? <laughs> yeah, I guess. But, you know, this is an important part of, of living. You know, you're leaving your imprint on the world. So make it count. It's good advice, even for grown-ups. <laughs> even for me. <laughs> Look, it's spoopy. <laughs> it is spoopy. Actually, it's I really spoopy. like that. It's smart. I was just going to glue a bat to the top of it and be like, oh, look, look at this. <laughs> look at my spooky thing. Well, I'm going to put a spider on my top, so. Oh. Yeah, I didn't realize I was buying spiders with little rings, so. Um... Oh, but they're so cute. I love the little jewels. Not Let's the green see. one, though. <laughs> Not the green Not one. The green Why one. are you against green jewels? Oh, I just want to get hold. Look, it has a wig. These are supposed to hang on trees. It's the Marie Antoinette of blue <laughs> Actually, I kind of want to give it a wig now. I'm going to do that. What were you saying? <laughs> I said these bats are actually for, like, um, trees. Like, they've got a little stretchy thing. You're supposed to hang oh, them up. Oh, cute. Actually, now it just looks dead. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. I guess it's better, better than being caught in a giant spider um, web wig. Yeah, maybe. So, um... I don't yeah. know. Mm -hmm. But just, like I was saying about, like, advice, ah. um, just keep making work. Keep trying things. Experiment. Because, you know, push yourself to do something you wouldn't usually do. Because then you'll find that you can, even if you never do it again, you can apply some skill you learned while mm -hmm. doing that to what you'd like to do. Okay. So that's some advice I have, too. <laughs> All the advice. I, I, this did not go well. Uh, oh. <laughs> this is, this is not good. I'm going to just do this. <laughs> Let's just do this. I'm just piling it on. <laughs> You're like, you know what? Just put all the glue on. Yeah, that's my goal. Gloopy. Okay. Let's put... So on. guess what? What? I found a kitten. You found a kitten? I found a kitten. It was hiding under a little shrub in the rain, crying. Aww. I waited for its mom. She didn't come back. So I brought her into our home. And, and now you was have like, a kitten. Oh, I don't like a kitten, and now it's like sitting in his lap every night. <laughs> so Sean got a kitten. Sean got a kitten, <laughs> and he didn't even know it. Well, and he got home, and it was in his bathroom. He's like, "What?" <laughs> it's like this isn't mine. I'm sorry. What is this? <laughs> and I was like, "What is what?" <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I think we're about wrapped up with our craft here. You know, I will take some pictures of these. Um, I think my lights are on. Do you like my Marie Antoinette? No. Oh yeah, I can see it. Can oh, you? Oh, here. Oh, okay. Oh. 
having a bad day. Uh, so final thoughts. Like, what uh, what do you have coming up? Where can people buy your art? Oh. Uh, you know, what, what's going on with you before we, before well, we sign off? Um, you can always find me on Instagram at Jessica underscore Lockler or on my website, jessicalockler.com. Okay. Uh, <laughs> if you, when I commission me, I'm open to that. Um, if you want private lessons, I'm open to that. You know, whatever you want. <laughs> Give me your money. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you for your time today. Thank I appreciate you, you coming in. Oh, thank, thank you. you. And we will see you next time here on Forster's Creative. Bye. Thanks. Bye.